here at our high school football game of the week at Wise High School taking on Gwynn Park and what a battle it should be. Wise is undefeated at 4-0 on the season. Gwynn Park comes into this game at 3-1, but Wise High School has a storied tradition of football here. In the last 10 years, they have won five 4A Maryland state championships and, of course, on the route to do it again this year. We'll have many highlights coming up later tonight at 11. Well, it's going to be wet out here. That shouldn't affect this game too much because, of course, they are playing on turf. And it's going to be wet again tomorrow when Maryland hosts Michigan State. Of course, Maryland trying to bounce back from its loss at Michigan last week. Now, Michigan State has quite the defense this year. They are tied atop the Big Ten for most sacks in the Big Ten Conference. But quarterback Talia Tungavailoa knows how to handle it. He says he's ready for the matchup. I think it's uh, the same thing every week for me. You know, just using my feet when I need to. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, relocating in the pocket. You know, things like that. And, um, yeah, just extending plays. I think uh, our old line's doing a good job. And, of course, Talia is the brother of Tua Tungavailoa, who had that injury to his head and neck in last night's Thursday night football game. Talia has yet to speak publicly about his brother's injury last night. And then another big game coming up in Dallas for the Commanders on Sunday, a huge NFC East division rivalry game between the Cowboys and Commanders. And the Commanders are bringing out all the stops. They're bringing out their big black uniforms on Sunday. This is the first time that they'll be wearing those black uniforms. Now, they went on sale for fans to purchase today and within just a few minutes they were almost sold out of those uniforms because everyone wants to get their hands on them including the players the players absolutely love the look here's what antonio gibson told me just yesterday about the new uniforms i love them uh yeah that's that's probably one of my favorite combinations so far um you know i haven't put it on just yet well i have but not yet in a game time and you know put all the accessories on with it and, um you know that's you know feel good play good and that's that's a nice uniform right there now, if you've seen any of our practice video this week, you've seen Antonio Gibson practicing with his helmet on and that black visor, but he says he's not allowed to wear that black visor during the game. He says NFL rules say no, so he's going to have to go without it, but he says he just loves the look of the all black and he cannot wait to get out there in Dallas. Of course, the commanders really needing this win. They hope to not fall into that one in three hole after that rather embarrassing loss to the Eagles last Sunday. And of course, Darren Haynes and myself will have a full post game show for you live on Facebook, YouTube and WSA9.com at 6 p.m. on Sunday following that Cowboys Commanders game. For now, I'm reporting from our high school football game of the week. Wise versus Gwynn Park. Gwynn Park just now arriving. They are taking the field here behind me. Should be a great game. That sounds great. If that black uniform helps them win, then maybe we need to get that into rotation often. <laughs> yeah. All right, Charlotte.